Welcome to the Game Week 24 team selection. The decision to bring Jesse Lingard in last game week meant that Hyung Min Son would have to go for Game Week 24, no matter what, in order to bring back Mohamed Salah for the trip to Swansea. It's never a good situation to be in when you have to sell one informed player for another informed player, but the Liverpool midfielder absolutely had to come back into the team this week at the latest, after temporarily selling him for the double game week. Son has a fairly good fixture himself in game week 24, away to a Southampton side that have slipped down to 17th place in the league table, having failed to find a win in any of their last 10 games. But following that, Spurs face Man United, Liverpool and Arsenal from game week 25, so that reduces Son's longer term appeal. That transfer is already confirmed, and here's how the team is shaping up for game 24. We can't be overly confident in a clean sheet from Burnley or West Ham this game week. Nick Pope hosts Manchester United, while Adrian faces a Bournemouth side that have scored two or more goals in each of their last four Premier League games, with Callum Wilson and Jordan Ive displaying very good form of late. However, despite failing to keep a clean sheet in the last four game weeks, only Chelsea and Spurs have conceded fewer big chances than West Ham over that period indicating that their defending on the whole has been fairly impressive, so Adrian gets the nod for that reason. It will once again be a back four in defence, with Nicolas Otamendi keeping his place ahead of Man City's home fixture against Newcastle. Rafa Benitez's side have scored just two goals in the last four game weeks, only Everton and Stoke have managed fewer. Andreas Christensen is a concern, having started just one of the last four Premier League games. Initially, it was an illness that kept him out, but against Leicester last game week, seemingly it was for tactical reasons. But Christensen came on for the injured Gary Cahill and helped Chelsea keep hold of the clean sheet, so maybe he'll retain his place against Brighton in game week 24. Phil Jones led Manchester United to their 13th clean sheet of the season against Stoke on Monday night, and they'll be looking to extend that further when they travel to Burnley this game week. Three goals scored in the last four game weeks puts Burnley on par with Swansea, only five teams have scored fewer goals over that period. Finally, there's still a place for Arthur Masawaku in the starting lineup, despite Bournemouth's attacking form of late. The West Ham wingback has provided five attempted assists and taken four shots during the last six game weeks, so has a small amount of attacking threat to add to the clean sheet potential. Raheem Sterling struggled to make much of an impression against Liverpool, but he's still enjoying a fantastic season on the whole, having contributed to 21 Premier League goals so far, with six of his contributions coming during the last six game weeks. However, Newcastle may not be scoring many goals recently, but they also haven't been conceding many, just two goals conceded in their last four games, on par with Man United and Chelsea over that time. Mo Salah returns for the away trip to Swansea, and it feels good to have him back in the FPL Tips team, after missing the goal and assist against Man City last game week. Despite missing a game over the last four game weeks, the Liverpool midfielder has taken seven shots on target during that period, only Jordan Ibe, Callum Wilson and Harry Kane have taken more. It was a frustrating game for Jesse Lingard against Stoke. On another night, he could have had two or three assists from his efforts, but he'll now travel away to Burnley, where he'll be looking to add to his seven goals and four assists. He scored a brace to rescue a point against them in the reverse fixture, so maybe that will give him a psychological advantage. Only Mo Salah and Jordan Ibe have taken more shots on target amongst midfielders over the last four game weeks. West Ham's Marko Anatovic completes the midfield four, ahead of the home fixture against Bournemouth. He's been involved in four big chances over the last four game weeks, which is on par with Aguero, only Morata, Salah and Kane have had more. Bournemouth's attacking form has been impressive, but they failed to keep a clean sheet in the last four games, conceding seven goals over that period. Only six teams have conceded more. As for the forwards, it's the deadly strike force of Sergio Aguero and Harry Kane. The Argentine has been outscored by Roberto Firmino in recent weeks, but both players have taken five efforts on target in the last four game weeks. However, Aguero's tally of 12 shots from inside the box during the same period can be beaten only by Salah and Kane. Harry Kane scored a hat-trick in the reverse fixture against Southampton, and the Saints have continued to struggle for form since then, picking up two points from their last three league games. Only Stoke have conceded more times than Southampton over the last four game weeks, while Kane has produced more shots on target and more goals than any other player during the same time frame. The two standout contenders for captaincy have to be Harry Kane and Mohamed Salah. The pair continue to lead the way in terms of shots on target and goals scored, as they have done all season, and each have very favourable fixtures in game week 24. 
In their respective last two games, Salah has been involved in five big chances compared to Kane's three. Both players have taken 13 shots during that period, and Salah has taken more from inside the box, but Kane has hit more on target. Their Game Week 24 opponents, Swansea and Southampton, have each conceded nine goals during their last four game weeks, and are also tied on big chances conceded over that period. So this one is a real coin toss decision. For the moment, down to loyalty more than anything, the armband is remaining with the Spurs man, but it's a decision that will go down to the wire. Follow FPL Tips on Twitter to be notified of any updates to the team in advance of the game week deadline.